What's going on with the truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So, so many people are asking me, especially after the Celadon thing, should I even get into trucking? Because I feel like if a big company is losing the shirt, what the hell am I going to do? Now, here's the thing. I want to explain to you exactly what happened to some of these big companies and why you shouldn't be afraid and you still should jump into trucking. I'm not making money off your ass going into trucking. I just want you to provide for yourself because you got no damn skills and you need to learn something and trucking might be an avenue out. Now, here's the thing. With Celadon, it is more than just the economy. What it is, I'll tell you. Very simple. Plain and simple. I mean, as simplest form as I can tell you. No, I haven't had my coffee. I'm just trying to be energetic on YouTube. So, this is what it is. There's a dude named Eric, and there's a dude named Bobby. And these mother effers run this company. Now, what they do is, they find out in 2014, they got piece of shit trucks. Now, Am I in an international? Yes, I am in an international. But I love my international. But in 2014, they found out that their POS trucks were all old and depreciating. And they should have wrote on the books that millions and millions of dollars in depreciation from their equipment. Executives uh, allegedly wanted to keep quiet that by mid-2016, a uh, substantial portion of their key assets, uh, in this case, trucks, uh, particularly the ones housed in their uh, quality, uh, Celadon's quality division, had declined in value. Uh, they had declined in value by tens of millions of dollars. They're like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Bobby, Bobby, what should we do, man? We're losing our shirts here. It actually was. Instead of, as alleged in the indictment, instead of doing what they're supposed to do, which is to correct the accounting records, uh, Meek, Peebler, and others uh, allegedly concocted a scheme uh, to keep uh, the trucks on Celadon's books at an inflated value that the company had previously reported, the wrong value. Uh, that scheme involved trading away hundreds of its older and unused trucks to a large truck dealer in exchange for newer trucks. And even though they were actually just swapping trucks, Meek, Peebler, and others papered up the transactions as independent pur purchases and sales of trucks, each with their own invoices. And these intentionally inflated prices, or artificially inflated prices, I should say, on the invoices, they did this so Celadon's books would not reflect the fact that Celadon's trucks were worth significantly less than previously reported investors eric's like dude we're a big company why don't we just trade in our trucks buy brand new trucks and really wipe the transactions that they ever happen so that the books show that our company is still in good shape well guess what some dude i don't know who it is but some kid probably getting paid fifty thousand dollars a year an accountant caught it next thing you know boom it's that new Enron shit. That's what it is. So really, it's not the economy is doing bad. It's just the fact that two dudes wanted to scheme the system and just made it bad for everyone else. All right? That's the truth. Shit.